Hey everyone, it's Rob the Backyard Gardener, and today I thought I would take you on a little experiment just like I did last year. In a moment, I'm gonna show you how my sweet potato vines are doing. Now, they're ready to be harvested anytime between now and the next month, maybe a month and a half if I wanted to really leave them in the ground in a long time. So I could pull them out theoretically today, but as long as you have heat, moisture, and good draining soil, they'll continue to grow. There is one uh, downfall about letting them stay in the ground too long though, is the bigger they get, the more grainier they could taste. I do want to harvest them today. Of course I want to harvest them today, but I'm thinking I should wait one more week, maybe two more weeks, and then pull them out. To any extent, the vines are going crazy. And if you recall last year, I cut off some of my sweet potato vines and tried to grow them over winter indoors in containers. Well, I made the mistake of bringing them indoors when they had spider mites all over them and white flies and all that good stuff. So the vines stayed very unhealthy indoors and I really got just some really small one inch, two inch uh, tubers. So I don't really want to ride it off as a bad experiment because I don't really know how well it would have done with the greatest conditions. I didn't use great soil, I had pests, and I didn't care for them indoors as much as I should have. So, let me go ahead and show you the vines. I'm gonna cut some off. I'm going to uh, uh, propagate them and put them in some water. And once they grow roots, we're gonna plant them indoors and see what we get this time. Man, that sun is bright. Anyway, you can see by the sweet potato vines here that uh, they're ready to get uh, at least a little bit of trimming. So the plan here today is to take some of these vines like these and other ones and we'll just give them a nice trimming and uh, we'll get them propagated. So let's <clears throat> what I'm going to be doing here today is just taking the ends like this and just giving them a nice chop. One thing about great about sweet potato vines is they are always looking, let me get the ants off here, potato vines is they're always looking to put out new roots and you can see here this picture we've got some roots just waiting on the vine to find themselves some soil and bed themselves in and some more shoots coming off so what i'm going to do is cut off several of these vines today unhealthy ones healthy ones alike i just have so many that I need to give them a trimming anyway. And you actually, for sweet potatoes, you can let them vine like crazy. Yeah. Some schools think that if you allow a lot of vines, that you'll have more leaf surface area and you'll have bigger tubers. Yes, that's somewhat right, as long as the vines that are coming off of the mother plants are also setting down roots. And then of course you'll get a bigger yield because you'll have more vines that are setting roots in the ground, producing more sweet potatoes. Well, not all my vines are in the ground. Some are along the fences, some are hanging around. So I don't see much harm in chopping these guys down and getting them propagated and getting them new roots. And then is I'm gonna see if these guys will go ahead and take root and then I'll plant them as slips into an indoor bin over the winter and see if I can get sweet potatoes harvested sometime in January or February. So let's cut off several more and get these guys in the water and we'll see what happens in the next week. So it's been a week since I chopped off the sweet potato vines and put them in this pitcher of water that I left on the patio. And guys, look at all these roots. So these are pre officially pretty much sweet potato slips at this point now. And I had a mite problem. I had a fungus gnat, a white fly problem. So I'm taking some measures this year and I have rinsed these guys off thoroughly. And uh, we'll go ahead and get them in the soil and I'll show you how I do that method next. Okay, so here's the soil I'm gonna be using today for the sweet potato slips. And it consists of a few different things. One, I want it to be moisture retaining, but well draining. So I've got some potting soil in here, some organic potting soil with my homemade compost some sand, some perlite, and a little bit of uh, composted cow manure. I think between all that in here, oh, and a little bit of Epsom salt as well, never hurts. 
So between all that in here, I believe this soil is going to do really well to provide some moisture retention, but at the same time, drain very effectively. Let's go ahead and get the two potatoes into a pot now. Okay, here's the pot or the bin system that I'm going to be using. It's a two bin system. This top bin right here, I put a couple of holes on the bottom so that it can drain out. And there's about two to four inches of soil in it right now. When I set it in here, this allows for the draining below here. So now that I've got the container all set up, what I want to do is I want to take these sweet potato slips and I want to place them in the pot. And I'm going to be staggering these for two different layers and adding some soil as well. Let me go and get this out of the way here and show you what I'm going to do next. Okay, so I'm going to take these uh, sweet potato slips that have nice roots forming on them right now. And I'm going to be digging some trenches, guys. I'll be laying them down horizontally since sweet potato vines like to grow horizontally. That way they can send even more roots into the ground. Now, I'm only going to be burying the parts with the roots today because as it stands now, I need to go ahead and place the other sweet potato slips on the other side of the pot kind of crossways. And I'll get to that in a second. But let me go ahead and make another trench here. Drop another sweet potato slip in here with the roots in. And now I'm putting these about three inches down, two and a half, three inches down to the bottom inch of the container. I want to allow the vines or the roots to grow potatoes upwards, but be buried just enough. It doesn't matter how deep it is uh, as long as the uh, sweet potatoes can grow upward and not come out of the soil. Now that I've got these three in, like I said, I'm going to now go to the other side and create some more trenches, kind of like I'm going to interlay the vines. And I'll go ahead and grab another one right here, put it in just like this. And as you can see, I'm crossing the leaves to the center of the pot, and that just gives the roots a little more space away from each other. Now I'm going to be doing a couple of more like this, and then my next plan is to go ahead and speed the video up. Before I do that, I want to explain one more thing. After I've got these crossed out like this at about the one inch mark deep in the pot, I'm going to be adding the other uh, vines, just laying them out on top. That way I can have different levels of potatoes growing. Let's go ahead and speed up the video now, guys. Now let's add some soil to the top vines. Now we just need a little bit of water. All right, so there we have it. We have them planted in the soil. If you recall, I did two different levels. I did a level right at about an inch mark and then another level right at the four inch mark and we topped it off with another two to three inches of soil. So right now we got about six inches of soil in there and what I can continue to do is continue to top it off. I think as these vine, I'll wrap them back into the ground, cover them with soil and see if I can get a few layers of sweet potatoes growing because I'm not gonna let these vine too crazy out and in order to get a big yield, you do want to be able to rebury parts of the growing vine so that they send out more roots, which then grow more sweet potatoes. Last year, I would have had a better harvest had I used better soil, which I'm doing this time, and had I been pest-free, which I can't guarantee, but I'm pretty sure we've got 99% of the pests off here. I'll keep a close eye on it, and uh, we'll baby them a little better this year and see if I get a harvest come uh, Valentine's Day or so 
on these bad boys. Well, there you have it, everyone. Wish me luck this go around on sweet potatoes grown in containers indoors. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching.